In the days after last summer's Highland Park shooting, a lot of attention was paid to Illinois' red flag law. It helps family members take guns out of the hands of those with violent tendencies. Of the 19 states with red flag laws, Illinois ranks at or near the bottom of usage each of the three years we've had it on the books. Why? That's what we asked CBS 2's Chris Ty to look into. He is in the newsroom with what he's found. Chris. Erica, in Highland Park, the question was, given that suspect's history of threatening behavior and history with firearms, should a loved one have flagged him and had a judge decide if his weapon should be taken from him? It didn't happen in that case, and as it happens, it's very rarely the case in Illinois, leaving some experts scratching their heads as to what exactly is going on. It's frustrating because I know the potential. Denise Wang Stonebeck was a state rep that helped push through the red flag law in Springfield, which temporarily removes firearms from family members displaying threatening or unsafe behavior, allowing a judge to suspend a FOID card and remove guns for up to one year. It works when those family members fill out these petitions for firearm restraining orders with a county judge where the gun owner lives. In a recent Johns Hopkins study on policies to reduce gun violence in Illinois, their number one recommendation was to improve firearm restraining order implementation. Here's part of why that is. In 2020 and 2021, Florida had 4,895 cases where petitions were filed to remove guns. In Illinois, over that same period, the number was 105. While Florida is 30% larger than Illinois, that disparity is striking. They certainly have taken a hold of it in the wake of their tragedy in, in Parkland and really uh, used it proactively to prevent tragedies. And Illinois just hasn't seen the same. Has not seen the same. Put the gun down! What Illinois will see is an infusion of cash from the feds to educate police, judges, and the public on how red flag laws can help prevent mass shootings, suicides, and domestic violence incidents before they take shape. Efforts that have been underway in Florida one year longer than in Illinois. They're more familiar that with their red flag law, they're more uh, comfortable implementing and using it. There's a lot of hesitation here amongst, I think, law enforcement and in the courts as well, and perhaps some misunderstanding. The numbers we compared between Illinois and Florida were from 2020 and 2021. We have gotten an early look at some of the numbers from 2022 just last year. And despite all the attention paid to red flag laws, given the incident in Highland Park and that shooting there, it appears the use of red flag logs in Illinois may have actually fallen last year when that full report comes in and all the numbers are there. We'll, of course, pass that along to you as well. In the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.